Breaking news in the world of tech. Give me a moment. Trump's deporting Joe. All right, I promise no more politics, but let's get to the new features promised in the Snapdragon 835. Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 system on a chip is expected to be in a number of premium phones this year, including a new HTC flagship and the Samsung Galaxy S8. Upon its arrival, Qualcomm has outlined some of the photo and video features that the chip will offer, namely optical and digital zoom. Qualcomm claims to have made significant improvements in this regard, and I quote, the Snapdragon 835 processor is designed to address the graininess problem by intelligently combining optical and digital zooms, so photos can be smooth, seamless, and lossless." Unquote. Further, Qualcomm notes that the Snapdragon 835 will offer superior zoom performance in videos too. But autofocus is another area Qualcomm has focused with the Snapdragon 835 chip. The goal, and I quote, is to build a truly effective autofocus and help shutterbugs capture even the fastest moving moments said Qualcomm. So all good news for Qualcomm this week, not so good news for Snapchat, because after their IPO, it was revealed how they're making money, and they're not. In its filing earlier this week with the US Securities and Exchange Commission, Snapchat said it currently had 150 million people using Snapchat on a daily basis, and that over 2.5 billion snaps were created every day. It had just 58 million in revenue in 2015, but it greatly improved those numbers to 404 million in 2016. The bad news? The company is not yet profitable. In fact, it lost a whopping 514 million just last year. Okay, so my take is that Snapchat is an innovative company that really has the pulse of how young people wanna use their devices, but it is not an ad platform, or it's certainly not a very good one. Everyone wants to be an ad platform because there's hundreds of billions of dollars to be made in ad revenue. But not every platform is geared to that. What are you gonna do with Snapchat? Have a pre-roll, mid-roll, post-roll ad that interrupts young people's content on Snapchat? They hate that, I know, from personal experience. Twitter, for example. Twitter could have been a you know, $500 million company if they had had a, uh, a subscription model, right? So you have um, a free-based uh, set of features on Twitter, and then for power users, you pay a few bucks a month to have power tools within the Twitter platform. That would have been great. It wouldn't have made $50 billion a year, but it would have been a sustainable, profitable business. But no, they had to be an ad revenue-based company. So Snapchat has learned from this, and what they're trying to do is build hardware to integrate into the Snapchat features. I'm not very hopeful. I am not. I hope I'm wrong. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Now we couldn't finish off today's show without talking about a photo that we found on the LG G6 and it's the back. This image here comes from an unnamed source who sent it to Business Insider. It shows a dual camera setup, along with a fingerprint sensor right below the cameras. It also seems to show that the case will have a shiny glass back, which again is consistent with previous rumors. Some of the phone's back is obscured by the fingers of the person who took the photo, most likely to cover up any identification markings that could link this phone to whomever have got their hands on it. LG is expected to hold a press conference in Barcelona, Spain on February 26, the day before the official start of the 2017 Mobile World Congress. It's likely that the LG G6 will be the star of this media event. The company has already confirmed that the display of the G6 will feature a 5.7 inch QHD screen with an 18-9 aspect ratio, with other unconfirmed rumors claiming that it will be the first third-party smartphone that will feature the Google Assistant.